I like spaced out. I don't know. So how have you guys been doing? How has quarantine been going? I know some places the restrictions are being lifted off and then some places it's going harder. Like I went to the beach yesterday safely and all, but it was just so much fun to just get out of the house for just like a couple hours. And I've been super busy lately. I wrote a book and I'm working on writing another one. And I started a nonprofit group, or I'm working on starting a nonprofit group. <laughs> now that I'm saying it, <laughs> I've started a lot of things that I haven't finished. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish them, I, I promise. So today I have a super fun, easy, good old fashioned DIY video because sometimes you just need those to just take a breath and be like, you just need to calm down and have all your DIY senses just flowing out of you, all of your creativity. So I was thinking a lot about back to school, back to school time, and if you're like me or <laughs> any other person, no, but a lot of other people, your back to school is going to be online. So normally I would make back to school videos, but I'm going to show you ways that you can spruce up your top half since you can't really see the bottom half on a screen. So today, I'm going to show you how to make cracked gem collar pins. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so first you'll need different colors of nail polish that you think will look good together. I like this combination. So you'll also need these glass gem looking things. They're flat on the back and dome at the top. Um, I got them from my local dollar store. A bowl. <laughs> Jewelry glue or strong glue. <gasps> See, that's why I need bats on my hands. Okay. <laughs> um, pins, little backs, and goggles because safety first. I didn't put backs on my earrings because I thought they'd stay in and they didn't, so yeah. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and while you're waiting for it to preheat, get your glass gems and put it on a cookie sheet and once it's done preheating, you could just put them in the oven for 20 minutes. When the glass beads have been in the oven for almost 20 minutes, prepare your bowl with ice water, fill your bowl with ice water, and when you take your glass beads out of the oven, don't wait for your glass beads to cool, put them directly into the ice bath. And your glass beads are going to be very hot, so please do not touch them with your hands or else you will get burnt. Um, if you need an adult or somebody else to do it for you. There's no shame in that. It's totally fine. Just be really careful and wear your safety goggles. It's very unlikely that glass shards will explode, but safety first. When the hot glass touches the ice water, the beads will get cracked at the top and have this cool effect. So they're cracked like in the middle but not on the bottom it's like it looks like it's cracked on the bottom but it's not it's really weird but cool at the same time <laughs> so i'm really excited to paint these i mean they already look super cool without paint but i think they'll look even cooler so let's get into it then you have to wait for that to dry because nail polish has to dry and once it's done drying you can use your jewelry glue to attach the pin on the back. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and share with all of your friends or with people who aren't your friends. That's cool too. And I'll see you next time. Bye!